Hello guys, how you doing? This is JP Saricolia. Uh, once again, welcome to my channel. Um, today is a special day for me. Today uh, it's a celebration. I'm celebrating. Um, this is uh, this is my hundredth video, and it is. I'm really excited for it. I know it might not be a big number uh, for some, but for me it is. It's, uh, this is a threshold. This is a this is a, a, a something that I wanted to do for a long time. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, waiting for this, um, uh, having a hundred videos, hundred videos in this channel. Uh, I never, I never thought that I would get to see that number. Um, to be honest with you, when I started this channel, and I'm so so glad uh, when I started this channel five years ago. It's been five years, and I know for uh, for for people that kind of follow numbers and they realize that for some people, hundred videos is nothing. You know, some people have thousands of videos in in, in, in a you know in a short you know. Uh, time span, you know, you have people that they have a hundred videos in a month, but in my case, has been uh, it started just as uh, as many of you know that the ones that, have, that follow me since the beginning and those that have followed me through the process, you know, have mentioned this before. Um, it started just as a game, just something that I wanted to do, um, just for fun. I never thought that it would take this life, and I will just move this in this direction. So it's a hundred videos uh, in the you know in the lapse of five years uh, where it's mean that I have all produced just a very minimum <laughs> minimum amount of videos per year like 20 videos a year um, but I'm still glad that I'm still here after all these five years I'm still here making videos I have 1200 over 1200 uh, subscribers which is a small number and the big pool of numbers and which is in YouTube YouTube is just a pool of numbers and everybody wants to have the highest ra you know rankings and numbers and views uh, but I'm glad that even after all this time you know people still watch my videos moving forward now like I mentioned in my previous video uh, um, I, I really uh, I'm moving ahead you know I'm, I'm trying to think what's what's the next step for for my channel and um, I thank those that uh, have uh, you know give me advice and have talked to me and leave comments of support my dear friend Tony a, a great friend that I met uh, through my channel and I met through forums uh, we have developed a great great friendship uh, we we're very close friends uh, so Tony you're watching this video I thank you for for all your support and all your friendship throughout uh, we have working projects together and we working in things together um, but one thing that uh, you know, he said some time ago when we were, I was talking to him about the things about this channel, sharing that I didn't know exactly what direction I wanted to go. He said something very good. He said, "Why don't you just do Q and A uh, videos where people can ask questions and answer?" And uh, to me, uh, I thought it was a great idea. When he said, it, "I never thought about it," and uh, I think that I'm going, you're going to foresee that uh, in the near future. You're going to see more uh, Q and A videos. So if you're watching this video, any questions you may have in regards to collectibles in regards to statues in regards to um, uh, comic book stories comic books or what are my opinions are in regards to certain things uh, just just shoot you know just uh, pose your uh, question uh, you know you can do it here on this channel on, on any of my videos you can do it on Facebook on my Facebook page if you haven't followed JP Saricolia JP Sari reviews or you can also uh, on on Instagram, which I you know I, you know, I also participate. I do I do do stuff on Twitter, but I'm not really a Twitter savvy, and I get overwhelmed with Twitter as much. Maybe I'm too old for that, so I just kind of let it go. I don't participate there as much. But you can also ask questions there. I have another friend um, uh, in my last video. Uh, he said something that really struck me. He said um, you know when I mentioned about why I don't review a statues as much as I used to because I'm not really buying as many statues as I used to. Like other people, you know, they buy stuff constantly, so they, they have something to review. Uh, but a lot of people say, well, you're great on what you're doing, your reviews, your format. So one friend said, um, you know, he, you know, uh, his name is a bit difficult um, on, on Facebook. I'm sorry, no, on YouTube. But he said his name is, uh, uh, is Goo96WCLP. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, the whole thing. But but um, my that dear friend, thank you, he said um, he started... Uh, he thanked me because he started collecting um, through my videos, so um, I'm humbled by that. I'm I'm, I'm grateful. Hopefully, I didn't uh, lead you straight into something that you didn't want to do or something that is not good for you. But in any case, um, thank you for for the support. Um, and he said, you know, you don't have to own a statue in order to review it. And when he said that, it really struck me because he's right. I don't need to own something. Yes, you, you own something. You see it face to face. Um, 
you know, you know, when you see it in front of you, uh, it gives you more a greater idea of what you have. But to be honest with you, you don't have to, especially in this world where there's so much stuff going on. You know, people review stuff because they see it in person. I have the opportunity sometimes to see things in person uh, through the comic book stores or through different stores. So, uh, you know, through friends, through photographs, which nowadays, you know, everybody has a 4K camera, an HD camera. So technically you can see anything. So I can give my opinion. So that really stay. you know, you know what? I could make those type of videos too. Uh, I might uh, review or oversee or anything news in regards to the com you know, to the statue collecting industry, collectors, and say what my, my, my opinion and, and, and releases and uh, work in progress, things that I see that are coming out, that I feel that this is good or not, what am I, my point of view. I've been collecting for, for many, many, many years now. So um, I think, you know, with time, the experience comes. When I started in collection, collecting, I didn't know much about companies, but over time, you know, going through, uh, I started in forums. Then that developed into other things where I started meeting friends and knowing more about artists, you know, then on Facebook, which is the new thing nowadays, Facebook groups. So definitely I always stay in contact with, you know, collectors and what the industry is saying. Um, I know exactly, you know, what's happening. Sometimes uh, I get information that I do not share with other people because it's something that is from some friends of mine which work for different companies. They do share some of that information, but they keep it secret, of course, because of their business. So I get to see a lot of things. So I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna, you're gonna see me more talking about uh, what I believe, what I'm, I think about the, the state of the industry, about the new uh, newcomers, new companies. Uh, or, you know, my recommendations um, to collectors, so what to buy and not to buy, um, how to interact with other uh, teams, what is important, the things that are not, um, how to take care of their collections, how to, you know, do, how to actually sell or buy stuff from their parties, you know, if they haven't done it. So I'm going to, you're going to see more videos where I share, you know, knowledge that I have acquired over time. And also another friend, I remember, I forget his name, but he, we talk in different videos. He he's actually followed me for, because of, of my book reviews. He said something, he asked me, I forget your name. I'm sorry if I did, I, I do, I, it doesn't recall. I have to go back and look at, you know, tons of notes. But he says something, he wanted me to review the Sandman. He says, can you review the Sandman? What do you think? What are your thoughts about it? And he's not the first person that has always come to me and said, why don't you review what's your thoughts about this comics? And a friend, of, a friend many you know, months ago, he said, why don't you just review comics, individual comics, not only uh, hardcover books? And you know what? He was right, because not everyone uh, can afford to buy omnibuses. That's the bottom line. And... Um, to be honest, a, when he said that to me, that was definitely a an eye opener. You know, a lot of people want to know the comic stories more than the format. You know, yes, you have trade paperbacks, you have hardcover books, you have digital books. They have all kind of ways that you can get the comics. My goal is not for you to buy the omnibus. It's never been. You know, even though I believe that it's a great way to collect comic books. My goal is for you to read the comic stories, to know more about those stories and um, to read them whether you do it a trade paperback whether you do it a hardcover book whether you do it digitally or whether you're a single in single um you know in this case single issues it's up to you um and my point is for you to get involved into comics to know comics to to see the potential to know the stories to get into it so uh that made me think that you know i need to do that because I, i'm gonna be honest uh i do not own every single omnibus that comes out. I've seen people in videos that have their videos or channels where they have all the omnibuses that come out and they, they share all the omnibuses and they talk about their collection, but they don't talk about their comics because the truth of the matter is a lot of people buy stuff, but they don't even know what they're buying. They just buy the books. And to me, I do know every single story that I buy. Every story that, every book that I have reviewed is because I have read it. I have read it through before I even share my thoughts on it. Uh, whether I review when I was young, when I read it when I was younger, when I was, you know, some years back, or even when I read it now when I buy it because I'm reading it. Uh, but um, the reasons why I, you don't see many reviews and uh, is because, uh, you know, there's limitations on that. And I don't like everything. You know, normally nowadays, the way I do read, and I'm going to be honest, many, I read a lot of comics when I was a lot younger. I stopped reading for a time, you know, I got married and all that stuff. So for, for like five years, I went completely off of anything that has to do with comics. Then I came back to read comics. And uh, nowadays I still read comics and I'm still catching up with a lot of stuff. The way I do read comics nowadays is digitally. I love digital comics. It's my easy, the easiest way for me to read comics. I have a tablet, I've showed it, I showed it on my last video, I think. 
uh, is the best way for me, you know, not for you, maybe not, you know, but for me is the best way to, to catch up with books. Once something cuts my eye, I say, wait a minute, this is perfect, this is good, this is good storytelling, this is good art, then I go and buy the, the, the collection, in this case, the hardcover book. And that's how I do it. But I will, um, you know, so that's the best way. You know, everybody's different. And this is my personal opinion. Um, but I'm going to probably talk more about comic book stories that I've read. And maybe I don't have the hardcover book. Um, and I will make some type of videos in regards to it. So uh, I'm still working the format in my head. So just stay tuned on that. Uh, I still have more books. I have a lot of books that I, have, that I own. A lot of omnibuses that, uh, you know, I, I promised to review and I didn't. But stay tuned because I, I want to do that. I want to review more material, some stuff that it might be rare that you don't have, is, that we don't have in hardcover coll book collection yet. But I want to talk about it too. Stay tuned uh, for everything that is coming. I have more reviews. I promise that I will do the Juggernaut review. I already had it. I have it. I have a lot of videos that I produced last year, but I never got the time to edit anything. So I'm working on the editing process right now, putting things together. So you'll see more videos of that coming this year. The Juggernaut will be one of the first ones. Uh, you know, a friend asked me for a comparison between the, the Bowen Juggernaut and the Kotobukiya Juggernaut. Which one is best? Well, I have a video. I already filmed that video. I filmed it last year and I never got to put it together, edit the video. But I'm working on that too. So stay tuned. I also have a lot of book reviews. Uh, a lot of books that I did not review, uh, like the you know the Wonder Woman by jo uh, George Perez. I have that coming for you. I have um, uh, other omnibuses, Marvel, DC omnibuses, and have other books that I I did film videos. I did not get to edit. I will just do that and, uh, and so on. So stay tuned for all of that, little by little. Uh, again, before I let you go, and this already long video is thank you for this support. Thank you for being part of my channel. I'm so glad um, you know that you are part of this. Uh, don't forget uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video in any platform you can. Um, you know, and you know, invite your friends to also follow. So thank you again. Um, you know, you know, I love you all for your support and thank you for this five years. And you know, I'm hoping for the next five that you know can be even better. So once again, thank you and take care, my friends. God bless.